Thank you for tuning in to Military Minds. In this video, we will be taking you through everything we know about the Future Combat Air System, aka FCAS, Europe's largest next generation fighter jet program, which will replace fleets of Dassault, Rafale, and Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft. You won't want to miss any part of this, so stick around. Everything from battlefield survivability to anticipated anti-access area denial environment and air-to-air -air capability of the 5th gens is all enhanced in Europe's largest weapons program. The FCAS concept is designed to have active and passive stealth capabilities for very low observability, data fusion to provide the pilot with relevant information, machine-to-machine -machine communication to fly as a network, as well as shared data with other platforms on the battlefield, an unmanned fighter option, and drone swarms. Another upgrade to this 6th gen fighter is what has come to be known as the System of Systems. A concept to try to maintain fighter pilots and their pricey machines away from the action, preferring to rely on cheaper, unmanned wingmen instead to ensure interoperability between allied air forces. And even design characteristics that the 5th gen fighters haven't dreamed of, like cyber and space warfare capabilities, beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile capability, advanced stealth airframes and avionics, high capacity networking, AI, data fusion, enhanced human systems integration, and use of directed energy weapons like laser CIWS are all part of the 6th generation concept. Now, for a bit of context, no 6th generation fighter jets have been brought to life yet. They are still all concepts and projects in the works. In fact, the first 6th generation fighters aren't expected to be in full effect till the 2030s. The FCAS initiative was unveiled in 2017 as a collaboration between then German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President Emmanuel Macron. Spain was later introduced as a third partner in 2019. This alliance had seven technology pillars, including a sixth-generation fighter aircraft to replace the participants' fleets of Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft with a next-generation fighter jet with cutting-edge communication technology that could perfectly harmonize with drones. Say, if you've enjoyed this video so far, hit that like button and subscribe for all of our latest videos. Three years later, all seemed to be going well because in February 2020, France and Germany made an agreement worth $150 million to fund the system's early development work, with Spain officially joining the program in December of the same year. This early stage was named Phase 1A and was a research phase that would allow the FCAS team to identify potential technology obstacles from the start to manage risk and was scheduled to end in early 2021. The next stage, Phase 1B, was to start immediately after 1A, intending to develop the fighter prototype ahead of a target flight date in 2027, and stakeholders planned to have the final work fielded in 2040. Well, where did it all go wrong? Like most international projects of this magnitude, there was skepticism expressed by military and political leaders over who would spearhead the project and share information, given the disputes between Germany's Airbus company and their rivals Dassault Aviation. There was also the issue of Germany entering a deal with the US and NATO to receive a fleet of F-35A fifth-generation fighter jets. In all fairness to Berlin, Europe wasn't able to advance beyond the likes of Rafales, Eurofighter, and Typhoons, all fourth-gen aircraft, when the US and NATO had manufactured two fifth-gen aircraft already. As a result, other countries like Japan, Italy, and the UK had struck deals to operate American fifth-gen fighters. Well, Paris wasn't having any of this, though, as they believed Germany getting their own supply of 5th gen fighters would make them a bit lackadaisical in their efforts to advance the FCAS project. All these differences led to months of industrial infighting. Tensions grew higher over the years between the two countries, with the domestic arms industry of Germany being on the French side due to Berlin not involving local contractors in the deal to purchase F-35 fighter jets. After two years of all the back and forths, the project is back on track. What brought about this change is a bit of a political mystery since President Macron only recently rejected an offer for a Franco-German meeting over the dispute. What we do know is that the CEO of Airbus Defense and Space, Mike Scholhern, indicated the next stage of FCAS was on a more secure footing on November 14th, saying, France and Germany are each convinced of the importance of FCAS. There is no alternative. It must work. And this was followed through by Airbus showcasing a new modular design for an armed heavy loyal wingman slated to be used as part of the FCAS at the International Fighter Conference 2022 on November 16th. 
Despite Dassault's CEO Eric Trappier being reluctant to divulge information earlier due to his France not publishing a statement to confirm the news about the progress on the FCAS project, the agreement seems to be in place. One look at the estimated budget of the FCAS project and you'd understand why it has been viewed as an all-or-nothing situation. Planned to be the largest weapons program in Europe, the anticipated Phase 1B is expected to get back on the road with a budget of $3.5 billion. The bill for the project is to be divided equally among the three nations involved, and Madrid has declared it already has about $540 million set apart for FCAS in its 2023 budget and a total of $2.57 billion for the entire program. Paris had previously earmarked 287.2 million euros in its 2022 defense budget for ongoing studies and research related to FCAS, but how much they or Berlin has budgeted in 2023 for the project has yet to be revealed. Currently, three sixth-generation fighter jet programs are being pursued by Western countries, the next-generation air dominance of the United States, the future combat air system of the European conglomerate, and its direct competitor, the Tempest of the United Kingdom. As things stand, the FCAS is set to be the last of the projects to be completed, with the future fighter prototype expected to take to the skies for the first time in 2030, and the finished aircraft schedules between 2040 and 2045, although Trappier has cautioned that 2050 will be a more practical deadline. However, France's initial silence on the matter and unwillingness to disclose the available budget has raised concerns about how soon work on the project will really take off. Given the similar disagreements of the 1980s Joint European Fighter Program that eventually led to Germany, the United Kingdom, and Italy partnering to develop the Eurofighter Typhoon, and France single-handedly building the Rafale, one can understand the concerns. We'll just have to wait and see how much actual progress is made in the next couple of years. So what do you think about the FCAS project? Let us know in those comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. I'll see you next time.